is over rotation system. It's coming in along here. Okay, as Bruce moves the boom, we'll be able to see how the system works. It goes so far and then slides out along the end of the lever. And back again. And then out the other side. Centre. A uh, couple of the features of this system are that it runs through a pulley on the end of the wing tube and back into the boom here and at that point on the inside of the boom he's got some uh, bungee cord that uh, tightens it. So if you just hold the boom still you can see there's some give inside the boom. That's because as the boom comes to the centre, swings to the centre of the boat, it um, has a shorter distance. And that has to take up the difference. The feature of the way Clive's got the system set up is that he has a mast stump which is raked aft at quite an angle. And the mast sits on top of that and can be raked forward and aft. In strong breezes he rakes the mast a long way aft, like so, which requires that the boom vane um, must be at the correct length. Otherwise, as he eases the boom out, the vane will let go. Boom vane pivot point on the boat and the gooseneck point and the stay hound point up there are all in alignment then it's very simple to for the boom to swing out and there's, uh, it acts normally. But if they're out of alignment, uh, for instance when the mast is raked forward, then what happens is the boom would, um, as it comes to the centre of the boat, tighten the vang. So what Clive has done is very cunningly down here on the deck put the final takeoff point for his control system so that it's movable. And you can see here that he's got three Takeoff points. One there, one there, and one there. And depending on the angle of his mast, oops, you can, as the boom swings across, allow the main sheet, sorry, the um, vang to ease out. Actually, if you just move the boom out again, you'll see how, as it comes across centre, it pivots, pivoting from a different point, it actually uh, eases the vang as it comes in towards the centre of the boat. And if you were to move it further aft, it would ease it even further and then pull it on again as it gets out towards the side of the boat. The thing Clive's done is his wing support bar is fed out of carbon fibre and runs into the mast base at the same point at which the gooseneck is attached. And he runs his outhaul down through an eye there in the side of the boat. The mark, uh, what do you call it, a wing support and from the end of the wing he has an understay wire that runs right down to the boat and runs through the side of the boat. The system is very stiff and very light. He's also got a very small aluminium bar which goes across to support the wing cover trampolines and the cleats and stops just at the centre side of the boat. The back beam is a section of foam and carbon fibre which is made up into a box section and run across the 
entire boat. It's the size of your centre board. It's extremely small. It's not much bigger than a normal sailboard foil. And he can rake it back in the case so that when he rakes his mast back, he can rake the board back at quite an angle. Boats these days are starting to put foaming in the wing covers and Clive's done that quite cleverly so you don't even notice it when you're looking at the boat. But it's just enough to save him when he gets into difficulty. The arrangement consists of a forward prodder. It goes down into the deck. There. And the forward deck is domed and he has a very small flare to stop him nose diving downwind. The boat is extremely narrow, close to one foot wide on the waterline. And what else does he have? He's done away with the prodder system and has three stays up to the uh, prodder point, staying point, and apparently that's more effective than having a prodder itself and stops the, ma the over rotating mast bending sideways in the middle so it remains dead vertical all the time.